quick show over here. It is Monday the 18th of October 2021. And I just wanted to say something about this, uh, still here, is this staying online schooling. They're not going to let these kids go to the school. They're going to keep pushing this baloney just just forever. You know, right now, we're having a problem with uh, Maddie, and it's, it's, it's not going away. Uh, whenever it's his time to do the online schooling, he just sits there and freezes. He knows all this stuff. We go over it all the time. He knows it. But he freezes. He does, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. So there's so much for this stupid online schooling that they're they're foisting on us people here, just to ruin these children. I'm t I'm telling you, it's it's going to be the ruination of a lot of kids. He's I'm sure he's not the only one doing that. You know, Dorothy's doing okay with it. Momo's doing okay with it, but for some reason he's just he's just freezing up. He will not speak to them on the line. You know, these kids need to need to be around other, we're social beings, we need to be around other people. They need to be around kids their own age so they can learn how to act and be, not just around adults all the time. So, you know, this is just more of this stuff here. You know, this is one world order stuff, guys. I don't see I don't see it any other way. And, I, and I'm really starting to get ticked off at this. They're, they're just never gonna end this damn thing. You know, it, it just keeps rolling on and rolling on. And I, I'm, 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 get, I'm just getting ready. I'm fed up with it. You know, there's what, what the heck? Why can't these kids go to school? You know, it, it just seems to me ridiculous. It's causing, it's causing trouble between the woman and me too. This, this stuff, and that's what they want. That's what Satan wants, guys. And who, and that's who's ruling this stuff here. That's what, exactly what he wants. He wants nothing but trouble. And I, it's just, it's just got me. It's just got me going. That's all there is to it. We're having a cloudy day. Look at this. Sun's trying to peek through, but last night I, uh, we had we had lightning, like chain lightning, way off in the distance. But then as it got later, it turned into thunder, and then we had just an all-night rain. Got to try out my new big umbrella. It's a dry as a bone, even even pretty much my feet. Uh, took a big walk with it and dried it out and put it back this morning. I wouldn't want to use it in a... got it from Lazada. It's like this super big one. And uh, I wouldn't want to have it in a real strong wind. I don't think it would hold up. But for just heavy rain, it was doing really good. Uh, kind of kind of a nice umbrella for the money. It was real cheap, you know. So, but uh, we keep some umbrellas around, keep them in the car. Here, you never know when it's going to rain. The rain just sort of pops up. You could be, we could be sitting outside in the sunshine, and within 15 minutes, you're in pouring rain. That's just how it. That's just how it is right now. Uh, that's the way it goes. But not a whole bunch. I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff in the news. Uh, you know, I, I just really haven't been looking that much. I, I get, I get kind of sick of it. I see all this stuff. Uh, some of the sites I was watching. You know, they say, oh, you know, uh, it's going to happen now. And they get all these famous people that were involved with Trump on. And, oh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, today is going to happen and all this stuff. And nothing's happening. I don't see anything happening. You know, I see a lot of boats stuck off the shore. You know, so that's, you know, that's got to be on purpose, guys. Uh, you know, you watch on online some of these longshoremen talking, saying, hey, they're not having any problem. Truckers, they're not having any problem. They're all working. So what's the deal? Why are they shutting the supply chains down? It's all part of it, guys. It's all part of this big plan. But And they're shutting down a lot of the new stuff. You know, you gotta you got to really dig to find what they're doing over in Europe and Italy and all these people getting out going against what the heck's going on but uh, I, like I always said though you know when you're when you're just sitting back and protesting you're just asking to lengthen the chain that's all there is to it you know it just seems so funny how such a small group of people can just run the whole show you know and they get their minions up there to do their dirty work like Fauci and all these other people and you look at like Biden you know <laughs> it is so clear to the world that this dude didn't win <laughs> it's just clear i watched uh, i watched before the election and the rallies filling football stadiums 
And that guy, he, he could get 20, 30 people. You know, most of them were news media. <laughs> you know, nobody was showing up. It just gets me. And now you see your stadium still full saying, you know, FJB, you know. <laughs> That's, that's what they're doing. And uh, so, the, you know, that was a clear uh, ripoff. I, don't, I truly don't believe, you know, if this doesn't get fixed, you can't ever trust the, the elections in the state again. I don't care what election. I don't care if it's an election for a dog catcher. It's all, it's all been co-opted, guys. They've, they've got it. And uh, if it would have been one vote stole on you know from the democratic side oh you'd be hearing everything about it because they control the media but it's on it's on the conservative side so guess what they'll just the news media won't cover it it's all baloney and then you'll get a lot of people sitting there watching the mainstream media just buying it all sucking it up they're spoon feeding the, the programming to them and they don't get it i can't believe more people just aren't woke up on all this crap that's going on you know yeah other people are waking up but holy cow you know, well, you you're going to wake up when it's too late. Is that is that your your plan? You're you're going to just sit back and watch what others do. I know the media is hiding a lot of stuff from you, but look at all the stuff that's happening with this uh, job of the hut. You know, the the numbers. I just saw a thing on there. I put it I put it at the end of a video on my last video uh, about this town in Ireland. Go go to that. Go to my last video. You don't want to watch the whole video. Just go all the way to the end. And read that uh, so you know these, these tidbits are coming out all over the place and they're coming out everywhere they're starting to count this stuff you got you got the uh, I don't want to say it C then the next letter and then back to C I don't want I don't want to say it because they're, they're gonna flag me for it but uh, Look at what these people go back and forth on. And then this Fuji guy, what he goes back and forth on. He's, he's just such a waffler. Uh, somebody did a video here where he's talking and they show him saying one thing. And then another time he says the exact opposite. And then they, kept, they keep going back on this video, back and forth. Of what's happening? The last one I seen that he, that he said, and this is coming from his own mouth. He said, we're, we're never going to get away from them, ever. Well, of course, with all the people getting the jab of the hut, how can we? Because there's so many of them. You know, I, I think that there probably everybody didn't get what's in these things. But um, <laughs> there's something up with them, guys. If you don't see that, then, you, you know, you're an ostrich. you got your head in the sand. That's... Uh, there's definitely something up with this. If your spidey senses aren't tingling, then yeah, you, there's something going on with you. You you have to look at this and and see what's happening in this world and what they're doing to our children. You know, now I'm starting to see where they're gonna, uh, you know, they want to give these kids the, you know, these Jabba the huts to get to little babies. How many how many kids you ever know got the FLU? How many? I don't. You know, this just just crazy just absolutely crazy I seen one fuel funeral director they say he's a whistleblower I don't know about that but uh, he said last year he didn't see any increase in numbers or anything and now this year since the Jabba he's up 300 percent that's what it said in the article anyway so you know this this stuff you know I, I'm I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated guys I'm, I'm starting to get frustrated at uh, you know, even some of the people I know that, that just are sitting back and, huh, it's all, it's all okay. That's the problem. When you sit back and say, yeah, it's just okay. We'll deal with this. We'll keep wearing our masks and all this stuff. I watched a, I watched a video of a girl. She was up at a window of a fast food place, and she was ordering a drink. And the guy said, uh, oh, you don't have a mask on. And she said, no. Can I have my drink? Oh, uh, no, yeah, I, I can't give it to you until you have your mask on. I have a mask here. I can give it to you. And the girl was even saying, well, you're going to hand me a mask. Why don't you just hand me the drink? You know, <laughs> this is how insane people have gotten in their minds that, that this is all okay. That, come on, guys. You know, uh, like I say, it's, it's just, uh, it's getting me. And then I'm watching. I'm watching my children not going to get the best of education. You know, we're teaching them. We're getting in here and doing the best we can. But I do believe part of education is getting out there. You know, 
I don't want them to be introverted. I want them to be outgoing. I want them to be with other kids. I want them to get in trouble sometimes, you know? <laughs> I want them to experience life. Why are they keeping the kids from experiencing life? Because of this thing that's going on where the numbers just aren't there. There will, it looks to me like it's gonna be. It's what it's seeming like, like it's gonna be. Uh, but what are you gonna do? This is, uh, I'm starting to think, you know, look at, read your Bible, and it was all laid out in there, and this is what we're starting to see. You know, look at this. I don't know what they're doing with the temple yet or who's going to build it uh, in Jerusalem. That's going to be a major sign. Uh, Israel becoming a nation was a major sign. You know, telling us that we're, we're on the road. We're on the road. One thing, no, that is always what I've seen in the history of the Bible, we fall under the New Testament, the New Covenant, but the Old Testament is there so we can look at and you can see the mind of God. He could, he'll change his mind. <laughs> you know, if enough people turn to him, he'll he'll put Satan back in the box. He will. He'll he'll push him back and stop this from what's going on. And I do believe this is Satan running the show, guys. It's it's just what else can it be? If you're a Bible believer, start looking. Start start looking into this. Read your Bible. Don't trust all these preachers. You know, I had a a friend of mine uh, that you know got a hold of me on the telegraph and said, "Oh, well, you know, uh, you know, we we give Joel Osteen money." And I was telling him, you know, he's a prosperity preacher. Not yours. You got to pray for your prosperity. You're sending him his. You know, these people with these huge mansions and all the living this fancy lifestyle, get manicures and all this stuff. They're living they're living the life here. And it looks to me like they're not going to have it for eternity. I really don't believe so if they keep keep up in their ways. But uh, I remember Rock Hudson. You know, they people. Some of the people in the church were saying, "Oh yeah, he'll he'll burn in hell." You know, he was a gay guy and all this kind of stuff. Well, I, I did see an article way back when, when he was on a deathbed. Uh, he was saved right before the end. You know, he said he believed in in uh, uh, Jesus Christ and felt bad for it and do I think he's uh, heaven yeah sure uh, you, you, you're, you're given the time while you're here and I, I did make that last one a thief in the night and when when the Lord comes back yeah it's gonna be like in the day of Noah it's gonna pop back just like that but you got to remember everybody has their thief in the night because you don't know when you're gonna die it's happened any time I watched uh, I watched a woman sitting there talking to us and her head dropped and that was it she was gone I saw a video one time of a Indian fella that was talking to his friends by a bus stop and just fell over and, you know so there's your thief in the night guys it can happen to you any time we're not promised another breath you got to get that through your heads that's for sure but uh, look to look to your Lord and Savior that's all you can do we can't fight these people you know uh, physically but you can fight him spiritually talk to talk to God talk to him daily just talk to him and uh, you know I said in my last video yeah there was some dust on on uh, my Bible I, I admit that hey guys sorry for the rant but uh, it does aggravate me when when I think my children are getting the short end of the stick you know because of somebody who doesn't even know us way the far off somewhere you know it just aggravates me I went through a battery uh, I will say, uh, when I was buying cameras, I said, you know, I looked at all of them before I got them. They got the GoPros and all these different ones, and I, I thought that out of watching people doing vlogs, uh, the best camera was this one that I just bought. It's a Sony FDR uh, 3000, whatever the nomenclature is. But I'm not going to recommend it to anybody. To nobody because the, the support from Sony here in the Philippines if you live here if you're in the States yeah get one or Europe or wherever the heck they sell all the goodies for this camera they don't sell here you can't get anything I can't even find a Sony battery I'm buying these wasabis I had just charged that battery up fully and it ran out that's how that's all they last you know and doing moto vlogs can't I see guys in the States doing their moto vlogs are long as heck and their batteries are holding up but uh, 
you know, here I got I have to buy these wasabis. Even my Sony battery is starting to give up the ghost. It's not lasting as long as it should. And I cannot find anything Sony. Even the place where I bought this. I got this from, uh, I believe it's called Henry's Camera in Manila. Uh, you can buy the camera from them. And that, that's basically it. You, they don't, nothing else. There's no support here from Sony. So, you know, it's a, for me, uh, get, you know, GoPro's got everything uh, because so many manufacturers make stuff for that. You can get it anywhere uh, if you want to get, get a camera. I know it's not as, uh, they're sh more shaky. You know, maybe they're getting better, I don't know. But uh, if something happens to this camera, I, I won't touch Sony again, not here in the Philippines anyway. You know, I wanted to get another one and have one just dedicated for the bike. But uh, not not a good camera, guys. Not, not you know, the, the function of it is fine, but the support is just zero. If something breaks, I know British Biker talked about that, and he was bummed that he couldn't get any support on his uh, to get anything fixed or done. And I'm, I worry about taking it to some camera shop or some guy. Some guys know what they're doing, some don't. How do you know? You know, how, how do you know if they're going to fix it or break it worse? You know, and these things uh, are pretty delicate. That's why I won't put it on the handlebars. I know it's got a mechanical thing that, that keeps it from shaking, not just digital. And uh, that's why I won't put it on the handlebars because you're getting all that bounce in there. Uh, that's why I like to put it on my hat so my body absorbs some of the shock. I want it to last a long time, but... But, uh, you know, I got to buy a couple more Wasabi batteries. They don't, even when they were new, they just, they just didn't hold up like the Sony battery did. But if anybody knows where I can get components for this dang uh, camera, it's the FDR model, 3000. Uh, if any of you guys living here in the Philippines has seen a place or you know of a camera store that sells stuff for it, I'd like to get some stuff for this. You know, if I can start, start finding parts for it, I'll... Uh, I'll get I'll get some more parts for it. You know, I, I like some of the stuff they have for it. You know, the catalog's full of stuff, but you can't get it here. So that's a bummer. But uh, I hope that uh, I hope that they open this soon. You know, I, I saw this stuff where they're oh, if you're fully vaccinated, and that that makes me wonder. You know, it really makes me wonder what difference does that make because i'm seeing the people who got the job of and this is all over the place this is common knowledge that it's um you can still catch it you can still pass it to somebody so why are why are those uh people getting the pass and the people that just say well i do i don't think i need you know i don't think i need that that's all we're saying you know free choice but they're pitting us against each other. This is a divide and conquer uh, strategy, guys. That's exactly what it is. You know, the, the dividing on race and color, that's not working anymore for them. You know, it's just, it's just not. I watch some of these videos online where uh, a bunch of guys in some of the um, militias, I'll say it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's black and white dudes getting together. You know, rednecks, all this kind of stuff. And... Uh, I knew, I, I tell you what, I used to have uh, some buddies when I was in the Midwest. My one fishing buddy, Jim, the a black fella. Uh, that, was, that was one of my best buddies. We were always getting together doing something. Knew his family real well. His wife, loved his wife, real sweetheart. I don't think there's that problem. And they're realizing that, so they had to make another way to divide us, guys. They had to do another way. And guess what? They found it. And they threw this thing on everybody. This is this is running over a year and a half now. This stuff, and uh, you know, I know some people are waking up. That's for sure. I just hope enough of you wake up, wake up to what's you know what I believe is going on. You can say I'm a nut. Go ahead. I don't care. You know, it's it's what I, what I'm buying, what I'm believing. You know, so uh, it just it just gets me. I, I am frustrated about the kids. You know, there's a beautiful school over there they built. Really nice. Why aren't the kids sitting in class? Why aren't they doing, you know, having a teacher instruct them? Why aren't they going out on the playground with their kids? And there's another thing in the States. They, when they stop the recess, you know, they stop that physical stuff that the kids do. You know, that was part, it's all part of this plan. You know, the, in the U.S., the government took over the schools. And the, and the baloney they're teaching. And they're catching these teachers now because social media. 
they're on TikTok. They're saying what they want to teach and all this stuff. And some of them are getting fired. Uh, you can look on there. Look up. Just punch in fired teachers. And uh, and these some of these ones that are teaching are just they're crazy. You know, I like to see who these people are. Uh, you know, some of the some of the teachers. Uh, you know, we've talked to even here. You know, I, I talked to one lady, and she, I guess she was a little bit miffed, but I said, you know, you guys, you need to push these kids into learning more. And you know what she said to me? That this is why I, this is why I took offense to her and why we're never going to get along. She said, well, some of these kids can't learn. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Then if they can't learn, then you need to go get a job doing something else and get somebody in there that can teach them. Because there's a way to reach everybody. You know, there's, there's a way. And uh, now, right now, my son, he's shutting down. Uh, I'm trying different tacks with him. We're going to find a way where he gets to it. He doesn't have that problem with us. Uh, and he actually has fun when we're learning. But uh, he sits there in front of this online thing and he freezes. He, ca he can't talk. He can't answer me. He can't answer mom. He's just frozen. And he gives you this blank look with his eyes popped wide open. Don't get it. Now, I went back. I went back in to change the battery. He's doing it. He's doing his stuff. Uh, he, they got him doing, uh, you know, questions and answers and stuff like that. And he knows this stuff. He's, he's no dummy. He's a bright kid. I just don't understand the freezing. I don't think that if it was a normal school year, uh, he would have any problem. And guys, don't, don't think this isn't abnormal. What's going on is abnormal. This is not right. It's not right. Hi, Igni. But... Uh, you know that's 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 my thing that's that's my thing is the the most important thing that's going on right now uh with what what we do as these children you know we have to we have to get them prepared for this world that's coming up however long it lasts you know i don't uh i know i get on about religion but guys it better be on your mind it, it, sh it better be on your mind because uh it's th things are coming down things uh things are happening look at the writing on the wall guys they're, they're, all the signs are, are just going in place. And, uh, you know, your Bible's a roadmap to what's going on, and it's happening. It's, it's happening right now. So you need to be ready. You have to be ready for what's what's coming. And uh, don't get caught with your shorts down. Morning, fellas. But uh, I don't know. Scary times. It's, uh, you know, it can get a little frustrating. I know I'm not the only one who gets frustrated from time to time and uh, downright mad sometimes. I, I do. I get downright mad at, at what's going on. <sighs> oh, well. Nice walk anyway. A little bit on the humid side. Last night when I was walking uh, with the big umbrella, it was it, just beautiful, cool breezes coming. It wasn't windy. It was a, basically a straight down rain. Uh, there's no flooding here anything like that. Uh, Watch that uh, Westpac WX weather. Uh, the guy's got some, he's got some pretty good stuff on there when it comes to uh, to the weather. I, I like him the best. And, uh, you know, they got the weather channels here, too, I watch. I still look at them, but it's not, uh, I don't think this rainy thing is going to be over for a bit. I thought it was going to end, but the way these uh, cells are south of us and all that, we're not really getting blasted right now like they did a week or so ago. But, uh, you know, it's we're getting rain pulled into the area. I watch how the clouds are moving. Today, the, the lower clouds are moving to the west. The other day, they were heading straight east in a hurry. So, you know, we're getting we're in a swirl. We're in a we're in a weather swirl right now, and uh, a lot of cells still working. But I don't know. It's just something. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I still haven't done my sprocket yet on the on the black beast. <laughs> beast one a one two five <laughs> but the kids the kids and i love to go for rides on that they're always hounding me to take them for a ride and then get the bikes out too uh mumu still doesn't want to do his pedal bike yet but maddie rides it maddie's bike broke and it's it's going to cost more to fix it uh to get the parts and stuff and I can't find a used place to get stuff. The design, the design of the brakes and stuff on these bikes is just poor. You know, these Chinese brakes. I remember when I was a kid, I had a uh, Schwinn. It was a hand-me-down from my sister. And it had the, 
coaster brake, which is what you should have for a kid. Their hands aren't strong enough to pull these brakes, guys. And uh, they had coaster brakes on. We rode the heck out of that thing. Banged it up and down hills, did jumps on it. Uh, we had a, a reservoir where we went down this steep hill. It was a good 50 foot drop off on at least a 45 degree angle. Rocks and everything. And we'd fly down that thing. Yeah. <laughs> And the other thing they got rid of on bikes, I think was absolutely ridiculous, was the banana seat. Why'd they get rid of that? You know, put a big banana seat on a bike. I'd like to have a banana seat on my bike. You know, that way you can set somebody in the back or tie something on there if you want to. So I, I don't get the, I don't get how they changed bikes so much. I did see a good video on Dutch bikes. And uh, so it just popped up on my feed. So I looked at it and guess what? Those are some nice bikes. Uh, you know, all internal hub gearing. I do not like the derailers. Uh, they're just, every bike I had with derailers, they're just problems. They're, they're always a problem down the road. Because, oh, well, you just didn't buy a good enough one. Well, I did build a bike. And the dude couldn't get me the internal hub I wanted, but he said it's on the way. Why don't you just take the bike as is and when the internal hub comes. And it had a Shimano whoop de doo fancy schmancy, expensive one. It was an expensive bike. And I didn't touch it. I just rode it, and, and I rode a lot then. I was riding. Uh, I was riding to work. I was seven miles from work. I was riding it every day to work, and I carried stuff on it. So I had a lot of. I had some weight on it, and that dang thing didn't hold up. Uh, that that shifter wound up going out of adjustment. I had, and I don't want to touch the adjustment because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. This is uh, Rick Shaw.